All right, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to make the lathe bit. Looks like this, 60 degree point offset to one side so that we can get up next to a shoulder. And we're also gonna make a grooving tool like this. So our grooving tool is gonna be about 186 thousandths wide, just according to the print. Uh, that's just for grooves, just so as we're threading, we have a place to stop. That's all that's for. Okay, so we wanna make sure first that our grinder's set up, a 16th at the spark guard, max uh, 16th to an eighth at the tool rest okay those that's very important we don't want anything to get sucked down in there and we also want to make sure we have the proper angle on um, the angles uh, you saw the other day i made a uh, roughing tool and a finishing tool this is a uh, finishing tool here it has a slight radius on it but we want to make sure all of our angles the end clearance angles uh, we don't put a side cutting edge angle on it um, but we want all our angles to be between 10 and 12 degrees. And uh, I'm sure that varies. Uh, some people will want eight, some people want more. Depends on what you're cutting, but that works for us in the shop for the students, okay? So let me demonstrate how to make this tool. First, we wanna make sure that we have the tool rest set at about 10 to 12 degrees. And I'm going to take the tool that I made the other day and I'm just merely going to use the back of it. In the previous video I used the other wheel which was a little bit finer. It was a little bit more difficult. Okay, so let's crank this down. Now I'm not worried about this getting blue. This is high, this is not high speed steel, it's just common steel. So I don't really care about this. I just want it, I want to be able to learn the procedure. And whatever you do, when you get done with these common steel practice bits, make sure you throw them away because you'll stick them in your box. Someday you'll go to cut something and they won't work. So let's check to see the angle that we have. Right about there, and it looks like we've got about 11 degrees, 10 and a half to 11 degrees. So right there is 90, so we want it to be anywhere from 10 to 12 degrees. You can see on our protractor, 10 to 11 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees right there, okay? So let's take this tool, uh, yeah, we'll use this one right here, it'll be fine. And we'll make our lathe bit out of this. And what you can do, since you're beginning, you can take a protractor with the grinder off, obviously, make you a, a black marker line at 30 degrees right here. Okay, it would be 30 degrees this way, 30 degrees this way. It might help you a little bit, but we're just gonna grind this lathe bit just like this. And we're gonna move it off to one side. Now, to grind the lathe bit, I didn't even need to put the end cutting uh, relief on, on it. Uh, it'll, it'll put it on there by itself. It's a little bit hard on the fingers at first, but you know, they toughen up. Mine are like baby, baby fingers right now because I don't do this a lot. Our students, we're going to uh, use these bits for our first project and after that we'll switch to carbide inserts. But see how my hand is held right here against that tool rest. My thumb holds it down. My right hand just merely moves the tool back and forth. Okay, it's starting to starting to come around now.
Got to quench it quite a bit. Now I was saying in the last video, we're using some 5% uh, cobalt tools, which are not that great. You can get an M2 uh, half-speed bit, kind of kind of made for four dollars a piece. You can get the 5% cobalt, 8% cobalt, 10% cobalt. The more cobalt, the more heat that the bit will take. And we can go all the way up to M43, M42, and the T15s are really, really nice, but they're about $35 a piece. When I have 20 or 30 students needing bits, I can't spend $35 a piece. So I usually try to get some cobalt. If they're on sale, worst case scenario, I just get the M2 high speed bits. And they're okay, but when you're threading, you'll know a difference really quick. Okay. Now I am gonna rest my wheel just slightly here. It's a big difference when you dress that wheel. Now, like I said, if you do need to put that 30 degree mark on there, feel free. A lot of the grinders that you buy from Home Depot and Lowe's, they'll have the angles on it for grinding various bits and drills and things like that. And you notice how I'm taking this one a little bit further over to the side because I want that tip to be all set. I'm gonna be coming up to the shoulder. Now I'm going to do this side here. But the key is to hold that tool flat. Don't let it start rocking around on you. If it starts rocking around on you, it's gonna be bad. We want nice, smooth lines. I don't have to go that far on this side because I'm only going to be using about 80 to 100 thousandths max of the of the lathe bit of the threading bit. Now, when it starts to come to a point, I may start to measure at this at this point, and I can put my gauge on it and see that I'm pretty good. It's it's not too bad. Uh, I do want it off center, so I may just go ahead and take the rest of the material off the right side. I will press this again. We'll take some more material off this right side. Quench it. We'll take a little bit more off the left. But see how my knuckle is even on the grinder? Okay, and my fingers are on the grinder. My knuckles, everything I can put on that grinder helps steady my hand. A couple reasons for that. Mainly, I don't want my fingers in the grinding hook. Okay, now you can see how my tip is off center. And it looks pretty good I see a little gap there so I'm gonna have to straighten that up so I'm gonna have to stretch this one out just a little bit okay, that looks pretty good there. we still have just a little bit of gap right there you can see it like that so I'm gonna stretch out this right side a little bit Trying on the back side of it first. Just like that. Let's see how we are. And that looks pretty daggone good right there. Now, if I wanted to take just a little bit more, we can take just a little bit more on this side. Just like that. And I think we've got it now. There we go. There's our lathe bit. You notice that the tip will automatically have that eight, uh, 10 to 12 degree angle on the front. It just, it just does it. 
uh, as we grind the sides in it'll look like a battleship make basically so you can see how our cutting edge is off to the left because we're going to be coming up to his shoulder and now on the back side of this tool this tool's done we don't do anything to the top the bottom we just hit this side and this side this side and this side gonna hit more on the right than the left so we want 30 degrees here 30 degrees here and with the center gauge also called a fishtail we get that 60 degree angle now we're not concerned again whether the angles straight because when we put it on the machine we'll straighten the tool up to the work Uh, start I won't do the whole groover for you but I'll just kind of show you how how to start it on the grooving tool we're going to cut the front like this in relief angle make sure we get that in relief angle right okay now when the sparks start hitting the top and bouncing off I know I'm about there and you can see right here. Now see how my hands are all over it? See the sparks bouncing off the top and coming off? That means I'm all the way up. And we want a nice smooth finish like that. See how that's all the way, just one nice grind. So now to make the grooving tool, it's a little bit odd and I'm not gonna take all the time to do this, but we're gonna have to hold it like this. We'll go back and forth. About a half inch back. But you see how I'm gonna set it at an angle. I'm gonna move it back slightly so that we have a little bit of clearance on the back side. Just like that. It's gonna dig in more in the back than the front. Just like that. Just like that. See how it's just a slight angle? That's what we want. Now we do the same thing on the other side. difficult for two people to grind on one grinder, kind of bump into each other a little bit like that. See how I have it at an angle? What we want, we want the tool to be thinner at the back than it is at the front. And it's going to look like that. And we would just keep on grinding that until we would measure it with our calipers and get about a hundred and 185 thousandths is fine. Our drawing calls for 186. So I would need to take that in quite a bit, but that's how we measure it. So we have our end relief angle and we're just taking the sides in a little bit thinner here than at the, at the front. Otherwise it'll make that shape or pinch the tool as it's going in to cut the groove. Okay, so that's how we're gonna cut our threader. Here's our threader. That's how we cut our threader and our grooving tool. Okay, and if you have questions, um, or if you actually need some tool blanks, I have a pile of blanks here. You can let me know and I can get them to you somehow or you can come by and pick them up. These are 5% cobalt. They're not too bad. Um, the T15 are the best. 8% cobalt are absolutely fine. So if you have questions, comments, uh, send me a an email or send me a text and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and thank you for watching